hey guys welcome to this video guys uh, informative video and the Liga MX has ended guys and this is the table Tijuana first place Monterrey second place Chivas de Guadalajara on third place Toluca fourth place um, Santos fifth place Atlas sixth place Tigres seventh place and Monarcas Morelia a place guys so this was the table of the liga mx before the playoff starts guys and who was the top scorer guys believe it or not it was raul ruiz diaz uh in the in the apertura tournament he scored 11 goals tying the uh goal scorer i believe it was with Guignac. I think they both uh, scored the same goals, but Raul Ruiz Diaz won it again in the Clausura tournament, and that makes it 20 goals in one season, guys, in the Liga MX, so if he's not in Latin America team of the season, I don't know what, but he should be, guys, 20 goals in his first season on the Liga MX, and of course, Alustiza, uh, Castillo, and Andre Pierre Guignac with eight goals. Uh, but I think Guignac did score around 22 goals or even more uh, because he played the Liguilla and won the final, uh, uh, the past Apertura. So that is probably um, why he will be also on team of the season. But yeah, Rui Diaz, I would expect him to be on Latin American team of the season. Guys, let's go into um, my predictions, guys. The first match we're gonna have uh, this week is gonna be Club Tijuana versus Monarcas Morelia, who got saved from relegation, guys. And there will not be in problems or relegation next season. And there are actually in the playoffs, so we, they will be playing Cholos de Tijuana. So on me, op on my opinion, guys, who's gonna win? I'm gonna give it Monarcas Morelia. I think they're gonna take out the victory, and they're gonna be eliminating. Club Tijuana. That's just my prediction, guys. Uh, so let's go ahead into my next prediction. So, guys, we have the Clásico Regio, the Clásico between Monterrey and Tigres. Who's gonna win, guys? This is a little bit difficult for me to choose because Monterrey has been losing in the past two weeks while Tigres has been winning. So who's gonna win? I think Iñak is on fire, guys. I think he's been a very important player for Tigres and he's scoring now goals. So I'm gonna give it to Tigres, guys. In my opinion, Tigres will be eliminating Monterrey um, in this uh, Liguilla and Tigres will advance to the semifinal. Then we have the Chivas versus Atlas, El Clásico Tapatio from Guadalajara, guys. And on this one, guys, I'm gonna go with Chivas. I just have to go. Is that team is my team, guys. This team is over all teams I, I support, guys. So I'm gonna go with Chivas. I think Chivas is gonna be advancing to the semifinals of the playoffs, guys. So I do see my Chivas winning, although they have a lot of injuries. So I hope Almeida, uh, he said in an interview, he knows how to play playoffs now. So I hope that's true and Chivas walks out with the victory, guys. So then, guys, we'll go to our next game on final games of the playoffs. That's gonna be Toluca versus Santos, guys. So. I really want Chepo to do good because he's one of my favorite managers, but I think Toluca is going to be winning this one, guys, during their 100-year uh, birthday, so I think they could even advance to the final, um, and w what a great would it be Chivas versus Toluca in the final, right? that 2006 final when Chivas wanted to be again, guys, it would be amazing. Uh, so, guys, my prediction is Chivas, Toluca, Monarcas, Morelia, and Tigres will be on the playoffs guys am i right tell me guys in the comments you guys his prediction and don't forget guys it's just been an amazing i don't know guys about you guys but yesterday the monarchas versus monterrey watching the relegation thing was insane my parents were like super nervous uh, they ended up celebrating at the end because Morelia stayed on the first uh, division of the Liga MX, so pretty happy about that for them. But yeah, guys, the playoffs are gonna be very good this week, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Adios.